Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. In today's episode, we are going to be doing a brief tutorial on Ducky Script. Now, before we start, let's briefly explain what Ducky Script is. A Ducky Script is a scripting language used to program USB rubber Ducky devices. Uh, in this case, we're going to be utilizing our Flipper Zero. There are USBs that you can purchase on Amazon that would also run these scripts. But basically, these devices automate tasks on a computer, whether that's Mac, Linux, or Windows PC. In today's tutorial, I'm mainly gonna be focusing on Windows. We might do one later on that focuses more on the Mac side of things, and if there's enough demand for it, we'll do Linux. So what we'll be doing is very simple scripts today, and I had done a bad USB video in the past that shows you where to get uh, Notepad++ along with the Ducky script language, uh, cause you will need that for this video. It will not work out of the box. So go ahead and we'll give that video a watch if um, you wanna follow all along but here we have notepad plus plus and first thing that we want to do is have a new one go to language scroll all the way down to ducky script make sure that's selected which we are on and first things that we're going to want to do is go ahead and we want to make a comment if you will uh and we're going to comment that the script is written by us so let's go ahead and go rim which REM stands for comment, and then go script written by modern broadcast. And can I make this bigger? Let's make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Just so it's a little bit easier. So a REM statement here is a comment. So nothing's gonna happen. This is just basically if someone looks at the code, they will see this here. It's always good to sign off on your code, put something in your code that makes it unique, that makes it yours. So that way someone can't just come around and steal your code. And I'm gonna also put a REM that this is a ducky script tutorial. Oops, for, oops, flipper zero. Okay. So I'm stating that the script is written by me. You know, everyone's first code is always hello world, right? So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to make a hello world script where basically if we run this program, it's gonna open up notepad and it's gonna say, hello world and, and that's it that'll be the end this functionality has a lot a lot of uses and we'll get into that later on in this video um, or we'll make another video if this goes too long and we'll go from there so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we are going to want to write a delay so we want a delay oops d l a y there we go delay I and mean, we see it turns red that's how we know that we used a actual term that the computer recognizes. So we're going to do delay 1000 and delay basically is a command in Ducky script used to introduce a, a delay specified in milliseconds. In this case, delay needs to wait for 1000 milliseconds or one second before proceeding to the next command. Uh, the delay can be used to ensure that the computer has enough time to process the task that was written prior. I always like to start with a delay, just so that way when we plug it in, we hit start. Basically, there's nothing going on. We wait one second and then it will run the program. Uh, it just makes it easier and cleaner. So the next thing that we'll want to do is type in GUIR. And we don't want REM, so we're just going to click down. So GUIR. Uh, basically, the GUI is a command that basically means the Windows key. So it's simulating pressing the Windows key on our keyboard. R is the R key on the keyboard. So Ducky Script is pretty nice and easy to read and follow. Delay means delay, GUI means the Windows key. When we do GUI R, we're basically simulating pressing both of those buttons at the same time. Now, if we do so on our keyboard right now, we get the Windows run command and where we can open up programs, we can do all sorts of stuff with the run window. So now that we did that, we're gonna add another delay and this one only needs to be half a second. It doesn't need to be that long. And then we'll want to type in doo -doo -doo, string notepad. So the string command is basically used to simulate typing out a string of characters in our case here is notepad and when we open up that uh, run command and then it types in notepad it's going to type notepad there so if we do windows r and then it's going to go notepad okay on the next command here pretty simple enter uh, and enter does exactly what you think it does 
basically hits enter on the keyboard. We'll want to do another delay. Oh, we'll do a second. It shouldn't take too long for Notepad to open. You may have to adjust if you're on a slower computer. You know, you might want to make that 2500. You might want to make it, you know, 3000. Just kind of play with that as you will. Uh, but basically, we want it to give Notepad a chance to open up. Then we want to do a string and say, hello world. Okay, and there we have it. That's our script. Very, very basic, very self-explanatory. And we gotta learn a couple terminologies like delay, GUI, and string. So now if we take this, we're gonna go ahead and save as. We'll save it to our desktop here and we'll just name this hello world.txt. Okay, go ahead and save that. It showed up right here. We'll then want to connect our flipper zero. Then we want to go over to our file manager. SD card, bad USB. Now I have a whole bunch of other ones already since I have the Unleashed firmware. It came with a whole bunch. So all I'm going to do is just drag my Hello World and put it right in there. We see it's there. Let's go ahead and close Q Flipper. And then on our Flipper Zero, you cannot have Q Flipper up when you do so, but scroll down to bad USB, scroll down to our Hello World, and we're gonna hit run. Open it up on my second monitor. So I'm gonna close this down and I'm gonna do it again. Hopefully it'll open up on my main monitor this time. So here we have, uh, it just said hello. It didn't finish it out. So I'm curious if that 500 delay needs to be a little bit longer let's go ahead and hit run again there it goes so that time it, it worked perfectly and it actually ended up finishing this one off so that's interesting there but we did it we wrote our first bad usb thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please consider leaving a like and subscribe what are your thoughts on this ducky script tutorial let me know in the comment section down below be sure to follow on kofi ko-fi.com forward slash modern broadcast have a great week everyone and take care